it sound ridiculous. But Zoe, who's six months old, and Josephine, who's nine months old, are already brilliant in the water. In fact, humans are born with the ability to swim. No one has taught these babies to swim underwater. What they're doing is totally instinctive, and it's helped out by something going on inside them called the mammalian dive reflex. You have this reflex too. And so do sea mammals, like these seals. They can stay underwater for an impressive 30 minutes. Humans, though, lose this reflex by the time we're six months old. But some extraordinary people train themselves to use their mammalian dive reflex into adulthood. Today's brilliant body belongs to George Miller, the six-time national freediving record holder. Freediving is swimming deep underwater while holding your breath without any breathing equipment. George's body can do this because she's trained for 11 years. So prepare to be amazed, but please leave this kind of diving to the experts. How long can you hold your breath for? I can hold my breath for a little bit over seven minutes. That is completely crazy. Do you think you could get me close to seven minutes? <laughs> Eventually, maybe not today, but we can definitely improve you. OK, fantastic. We're going to see how long you can hold your breath for. OK. This will give George an idea of how well Zand uses his lungs to breathe. You did 1 minute 27, which is amazing for the first time. Impressive, Zand. I'm quite pleased with myself about that. I think we can do better. Really? Yes. Freedivers learn how to use something that we call a three-part breath, a diaphragmatic breath. So if you put one hand on your tummy and one hand on your chest, the first part of the breath comes from the belly. And then the chest and then just let it all fall out. So, hold your breath. The trick is to use your diaphragm, the muscle under the lungs, to take in as much air as possible before you hold your breath. You did 2.17. Really? That's amazing. So that's almost a minute more. Yeah. So Zahn's got the breathing technique down. Now he needs to do it while freediving underwater. Now, safety is the most important thing, and I can only do this because I'm surrounded by professionals. So never, ever practice on your own, even in the bath. Before he goes underwater, Zand uses George's deep breathing technique. His mammalian dive reflex is triggered once his face touches the water. How long was I under for? You were down there for 30 seconds. But for that 30 seconds, I was like a seal. <laughs> Zand held his breath longer on land because when swimming in water, his muscles needed oxygen. But practice makes perfect. OK, here we go. Instinctively, Zand's body knows he's not breathing, so it prioritises sending blood to his brain and his heart. This allows him to swim even deeper. Amazing work, Zand. Dive two was a massive improvement. Seven metres down, 41 seconds. The most amazing thing about today is that what George has been able to show me is that my body is capable of doing things that I had no idea it could. And that's all thanks to the mammalian diving reflex.